so everyone um, know that now I'm in Circles Life, but I've actually been using CleverTap since I was in my previous company, Faith. Um, so um, I think um, it has kind of followed me through my job transition. So that's really nice. Um, so for me, what I'm really focusing on is how do we optimize users' experience, um, not not for me personally, not just at a digital digital telco like Circles Life, but actually. Um, that's kind of like an interest of mine personally. So um, understanding from CleverTap the, the different tools that they have or products that they have that allow me to understand the user journey better, that was what really interested me in terms of understanding deeper about the product. Um, so more about Circles Life, uh, we are Asia's first fully digital telco and consumer company. So um, obviously we don't want to just be a telco company. Uh, the reason why um, Circles Life was launched in 2016 was to give power back to the consumer, especially in a place like Singapore where telcos are very traditional. So before Circles Life, it was Singtel, Starhub, um, um, and all the traditional telcos where the focus was a lot more on contracts. So when Circles Life came in, we thought, you know, power back to the consumer took the form of having no contract, um, very focused on the data they could get, as well as um, the digital service they could get through us. Um, now, in particular, we're focusing a lot on the consumer and a customer-centric user journey as well. So um, that, that, that KPI doesn't just belong to customer happiness team. It belongs to every single team, even marketing like mine. Um, so here's what we use at CleverTap to kind of understand the business better. So um, moving forward, how the format would be like is I would have like business questions that I would ask, right? Um, but I would like you to keep in mind that um, the, the reason why we ask all these business questions, obviously um, there's a revenue aspect to it, but when done well, uh, when looking at user behavior, um, it also drives very good user experience. So um, the first one I'll run through is funnel analytics to grow um, the business. Second one is to how to understand the loyalty and intent of users using RFM. And then um, thirdly is the retargeting with journeys. And the fourth is uh, A-B testing with messaging. So I mean, funnel analytics is something pretty um, easy to understand just from the term itself. Um, so like when I think about funnel analytics, I think about business questions like what's the percentage of users who clicked on um, any particular banner? Are we using our real estate um, well enough? So um, in this case, basically, uh, when a user's app launched, the first thing they see on the Circles Life app is like an app banner, right? So using funnel analytics, uh, you can basically under we basically understand the impact of the this portion of the app. And um, aside from just understanding how many users interact with the banner function in general, we actually also utilize it to, to, to specific banners. So which banners actually get the most clicks, uh, which banners are um, engaging users more. Um, these allow us to kind of optimize the positioning of the banners, um, which obviously in turn drive the revenue or rather the, the objective of the different teams. So uh, for example, the telco team might want to be selling um, add-ons to users, but maybe users are just gonna be interacting more with interesting stuff like a polling um, or, or quizzes, right? So um, being driven by the user behavior on the app actually allows us to do a lot more in terms of understanding how um, the positioning and the, and the real estate on our app is performing. Yeah, so for um, retargeting with journeys, uh, basically the business question that I was um, kind of trying to answer um, when it came to that was how can we retarget aside from paid ads to reduce CAC, which is something that probably most marketers would ask. Um, a lot of it depends on the information that's being collected from users uh, from the in the cart itself. So by triggering events on our checkout flow, we are actually able to create journeys in CleverTap to kind of scale the retargeting uh, through non-paid channels like email and pushes if, if, your, if your cart development journey is app-based, but ours is web-based, so um, we kind of utilize emails a lot more. So um, in this journey, basically um, being able to understand the kind of promo that entices the user, um, all the current promo that's running on the app allows us to build very targeted card abandonment journeys um, and this is um, basically automated so by having an automation or an automated journey like that basic um, this allows us to scale a lot faster so it is not just like one card abandonment journey if let's say there's multiple promos that you're trying to run if there's different retargeting that you're trying to do um, that's what um, scaling up with journeys actually um, allow us to do in terms of driving um, retargeting. Yeah, 
And then the third piece is actually customer loyalty. Um, the model that is uh, that I really appreciate that um, Clementap has is the recency frequency monetary model. Um, for this case, um, I didn't use kind of like the monetary portion, but um, because I was just trying to look at app engagement for Circles Life. Um, and the question here is how can I increase engagement of my customers um, by using this app launch event as a proxy for engaged customers. This allows us not to just uh, analyze um, how your what is the health of your customer base, but also like which customers are the ones that we have to kind of like um, send in more interesting stuff or engaging stuff to kind of bring them back uh, into the app or engaging with the brand. So um, app launch isn't just purely just a customer behavior kind of thing. It's um, kind of brand engagement um, on a large, on an over larger uh, point of view. So, like for example, if in this chart you can kind of see, um, loyal and champion users probably are those uh, who are very recent, very frequent. Um, by talking to them, you consider like rewards, stuff like that. But the people that kind of like we focus a lot more is the people who can, we cannot lose. So the cannot lose them segments are basically people who used to be very frequent but now are not so recent anymore, which means that they have reduced in engagement with your app. Um, and that is something that we kind of look at on how do we re-engage them or how do we keep them engaged with the brand. Okay, the last one is understanding the impact of copywriting. Um, I think the this is something that as a CRM team um, has the most direct impact on my myself and my team. Um, so this is a, a question on messaging, like what kind of message or angle increase the impact of communication to customers. So um, one thing is that running an A-B test on CleverTap is really fast. Um, it's, a, it's a single setup with both uh, with, with up to three variants and then uh, we kind of just pick the sample size we want to do and it's optimized within that um, push itself. Um, this can be done for emails as well, but uh, for pushes basically it's very straightforward. Two different pieces of communications, um, driving the same objective and then we just set the sample size we want to um, evaluate on and the one that is actually the most optimized will be sent out to the majority of the users. So by having this in a single setup allows us to quickly experiment and optimize comms just within a single setup. So um, that allows us to understand the impact of copywriting and aside from just like the A-B testing here, um, we um, also um, we receive kind of like the emotional uh, and that emotions analysis uh, from CleverTap before and I found that really um, kind of um, useful as well because you can get to understand the emotions that you're eliciting uh, when it comes down to writing your comms which sometimes on a day-to-day -day basis you kind of feel psyched on but with um, analysis like that it allows you to kind of see how you're driving um, or what emotions you're driving in consumers and how does that impact um, the clicks or the engagement with the communication piece that you're driving. Yeah, so um, I think in Circles Life, I guess what we're looking forward to when we partnered up with CleverTap is really a lot faster experimentation to, so I strike this through, gather data points to drive business goal because I don't believe that's the end goal. The end goal is actually to build personal and relevant experiences for our users. And because it is personal and relevant, um, the, the stretch through portion actually just like fulfills itself. Yeah. So um, thank you. Um, that's the end of my kind of like my sharing with you guys.